back with more talking about our charity of choice contest with our friends at Cleveland Boat Center. I'm joined once again by the owner of Cleveland Boat Center, Stacy Greenwood. Stacy, well, I tell you, we've had several weeks of hearing some wonderful, wonderful, encouraging things. I know, and I want everyone to win. I mean, well, let's now just work that out. I, 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 know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was trying to do something good, I but <laughs> but that's but honestly, that's that's the way we all feel, right? I mean, what it's so neat that we have a small enough town mm -hmm. that we can know the different opportunities. But how amazing that we have so many great opportunities that are serving our community. Let me uh, go ahead here at the outset. We're going to talk to uh, Haley in just a moment, for, uh, Project Free to Fly. But let me remind everyone, uh, uh, mymix1041.com is how you vote. And we have had thousands of votes uh, come in. I was just given a report this morning about it. It's unbelievable. Mymix1041.com. And Haley would say vote for Project Free to Fly. How are you, I'm, Haley? I'm well. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, for those, you're welcome. For those uh, new people to the community, tell us what it's all about at Project Free to Fly. Yes, we are a creative nonprofit, as I like to say. We've been in the community um, almost eight years. We'll celebrate being in Cleveland. And we serve women in our community through sewing um, as kind of a foundation to be able to give women work uh, but more than that is helping women move um, from past circumstance circumstances such as recovery homelessness um, crisis pregnancy anything that in their past that they are working to overcome uh, and so we're that bridge between past circumstances and a successful future here in our community and the workforce so we don't want the women to be with us forever um, they all have different goals and different dreams and so we are there to come alongside of these women and just help them um, pursue pursue those um, goals well, I, I've got to mention this. I don't want to go to uh, Stacy in just a moment, and this will give her a little time to think of something to say. Uh -huh. uh, I do, I do want to mention your Bird and Barn event yes. has just become an unbelievable event on the calendar every year. Yes, that this will be our eighth year that we've done it, wow. and. So year one, we were obviously fundraising and trying to get this kind of vision, new vision for women in our community. And um, so it's held at Black Fox Farms. We were able to invite other local handmade uh, businesses. So not only raising funds for our organization, but also supporting small businesses and just in light of everything that's going on in our world these past couple years or past year or so um it's even more important this year is just to to be able to support those other local small businesses within our community um, and it's always been a successful fundraiser so stacy you know free to fly what a wonderful organization and they have so many great offerings for those of us that might like to shop yes that's right. <laughs> like earrings and purses i've been watching on your instagram post yes yes we the products that the women make we have everything this is one of our new earring designs um and then our purses and bags are just beautiful craftsmanship and the neat thing about our storefront now because our workspace and storefront in downtown Cleveland is all within one space. And so you can come in and you see the women working in the workspace, and then you can be right there and purchase the products that they've made and know that you're supporting women um, that are working to create a better future. Project Free to Fly, our friend uh, Haley Johnston and... Uh Hey, Haley, how can we get more information about Project Free to Fly? Yes, our website is just that, projectfreetofly.com. We're on all social media accounts, Instagram and Facebook. And then our storefront, uh, downtown Cleveland, the corner of Central and Ocoee, the whole building there. Um, you can come in and learn more about our organization, uh, get involved, volunteer. We have lots of different opportunities. Purchase from us um, is a big way to, to support and fun, <laughs> and fun way. Um, but lots of different products, and um, that's yeah, just located in downtown. And the holiday season right around the corner. Absolutely, so. yes. Lots of gift ideas. There we go. Hey, uh, Stacy. but people need to take action. They need to vote, if they, especially if they want... Uh, for this uh, instance, Project Free to Fly to, to win this. Right. Cleveland, surrounding areas, vote for your favorite charity. That's why it's called Charity of Choice. So we they're all great, but what's your favorite? And let's get them a little bit of extra cash. Let's do it. MyMix1041.com. Thanks so much uh, to Haley and uh, to Stacy with Cleveland Boat Center. Cleveland Boat Center is making it all happen. 
And uh, we want you to remember that. Go to MyMix1041.com and vote. Thank you. All right. So I got a question off the air here. Yes. Uh, 